have finally friggin' made it here. Battle number 80. Wow, area 8 was a doozer, but that's alright. Took quite a while. What am I at? 43 minutes. Jesus. Cricket, ball sack, wrinkled, pillow fight, rail guard, MWAT, true testicle, wrinkle. Anyway, moving on to area leader Shoban here. Let's, uh, let's do it. Hmm, you have a unique air about you that sets you apart from the challengers I've seen. But, who cares? First, we battle. Alright folks, it's battle number 80. Area leader Shoban. You look very similar to whatever that chick was that started with an R. Not important. Alright, this chick is uh, pretty crazy. They've definitely reached us with levels with one of her Pokemon being 54 and one of them being 55. So, yeah, that's going to be a problemo. Maximum. Alright, so Hariyama, he is annoying, and if you give him a status ailment, his guts thing will take effect and he'll do double damage. So get his ass out of there. ASAP. Same thing with Cacturn. He's annoying, so, um... Oh, who are you going to use that on? Please use it on... Thank you, okay. Getting Cacturn out of there isn't nearly as important as getting Hariyama out. Yeah, baby. Ooh, crank that soldier, boy. Uh, go take a dirt nap, Hariyama. See you never. Because you're dead. You know, because you never see somebody if they're dead. Never mind. Or if you have to explain it, bro. Sandstorm. Oh, come on, that's just annoying. I hate weather effects in this game, except like sunny day and rain. I hate weather effects that damage you, because then you've got to watch everybody on the field do their taking damage freaking animation, and it takes 38 and a half years. And there we go. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. Cacturn. Oh no, Weezing. We're going to use Psychic on. And Cacturn. Say hello to my love flamethrower. Goodbye, Weezing. Wow, this chick isn't very much of an area leader, huh? But now that we're going all out and we're type matching here, things are starting to go quite well. Oh, hey, Doom's 55. By the way, I did end up looking it up. Doom learns... Uh, crunch at 59. I don't think we'll be able to reach that by the summit, but we should get close for future reference. Hadouken! <laughs> See you later, buddy. Nice hat, by the way. I'm lying, that's not a nice hat. It was very ugly. I was being sarcastic. Alright, and now she's down to her final two Pokemans. We got Golem and Starmie. Starmie is annoying. She has Psychic, so watch out for that. Golem, I think he has Earthquake, and he might even have, like, uh, Explode or Self-Destruct or something, so... Watch out! I would switch into Meganium here, or Ampharos, to take out Starmie, or, or Golem, but, um... I just don't see him being necessary for now. Right now we can pelt Starmie with Ghost-type, and do... Wait, can we? Psychic is super affected by Ghost, right? It's super affected by Bug. Yeah, Ghost and Dark. Okay. Um, in that case, let's just go all out on her and get Starmie out of the way before she starts using Psychic on us. I mean, it would. I mean, it's not very effective against Star. Uh, what is it? Espeon, and it doesn't affect Houndoom at all. So then again, what? How big of a threat is it? Well, that's a big threat. Holy balls! That is a threat. Well, that's okay because I killed four of your Pokemon, slut. Alright, let's go. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna bring, we need to bring somebody in who can take care of Golem. Golem, my precious little foot. I mean, think about it, Shoban. Should you really be wearing, like, a dress while we're this high in the air? People can obviously see up that. Don't tell me people can't see that high either, because there's a little thing called binoculars. Not your best friend. Not gonna lie, they really don't like you. What am I talking about? What the heck is he talking about? The have to. Alright, I really would like Espeon not to die here, because then Espeon will grow a level, so let's get that going. But Starmie's dead, all that's left is Golem. He's toast. Giga Drain. Plus, he's slower than Molasses, so there's no way. He doesn't have a chance. Oh my god. Espeon, you are becoming a powerhouse. That psychic is just unstoppable. 
Anyway, um, that last fast forwarded section you just saw in Area 8 is going to be the last fast forwarded section of Mount Battle. We're going to do the entire rest of it live. Area 9 and 10. Battles 81 through 100. Because they're going to be tough, because people are going to start being higher levels than us, so it's going to start becoming an underdog battle. So, I'm ready for it. I hope you are too, baby. Shoban, you done. I knew you were different. That's right. Because I'm the best. Around, no one's ever gonna keep me down. You battle differently too, like, somehow. Hmm, I can't find the words for it. Yeah, Poke Coupon's break room. God, you're the same as all the rest. I thought you were different. Oh, look, there's Battle 81 there. And of course, nobody's manning it, because the people don't man it until we start the area, right? Alright, what's up, buddy? Yeah! And these guys say the exact same thing every time. Yes, of course I would like to go on. Show them what you're made of. Alright, so I am going to save to that because... Area 9 might very well have a shenana guy that could kill us. So, we don't want that. Do I have anything in my item storage? Withdraw items. Oh, come on, man. Alright, anyway, that's probably going to be the end of this episode, because even though I'm fast-forwarding it, it's still it was 30 minutes long, so chances are it's still going to be like 15 minutes, I don't know, of footage, even fast-forwarded. But, okay, so that's it. Next time, we are going to go all the way through the rest of Mount Battle, and we're going to live. No more fast-forward, no more music montage, no more <clears throat> post-commentary, nothing. We're just going to bite the dust, and we're going to do it. So, area 9 and 10, two areas remaining. I will see you guys next time.